Adam's family soundboard, a pre-DCS soundboard. And when it came to me, it wasn't making any sound at all, except maybe a, some clicking at boot up time. My process for figuring these things out is first test the socketed chips. So I tested the 6809 in a known working WPC MPU and it was fine. And I didn't test the Yamaha chips. I went straight to the RAM chip and diode tested it and pin 26 was way out of spec. So there was something wrong with that RAM chip. So I neatly removed it and then put a socket in and installed a, another RAM chip. Let's get that pin straightened up. And I updated the ROM while the board was here. This had a prototype version of the sounds in it. It's still available on the internet pinball database, but I updated it to L1. I replaced, what is that? Five, six, seven, 47 microfarad caps, a hundred microfarad input filter cap. And there's a little 22 microfarad cap over here that sometimes causes the amplifier to heat up and start clicking. The two 4700 microfarad caps on the input side or power input, I replaced those. Do I recommend this for all pre-DCS pre soundboards? I don't know. The 4700 for sure, but those are snap caps, so we don't want to be pulling through holes as is frequently done on power driver boards. The 47 microfarad caps, it'll improve the sound some. Those caps are old. They're mostly dried out and they're in series, so they're really not doing their job anymore. But let's hear some Adam's Family Sounds. This is quite a lengthy sound test. So many great quotes in the Adams family. Let me get out of that. Um, what I noted is I tested this board before I replaced all those 47 microfarad caps and it was still a little crackling. There was almost no crackling in that run through the test. So I'm glad I did change those caps. Thank you so much for your patience. Invoice and package coming.